Let's go ahead and tackle the next calculations. Next calculation is going to be the mass of water, uh, m sub w. So I'm gonna write m sub uh, mw here equals, and then I'm gonna do the calculation in this box here. Remember, uh, so uh, you can do this by hand too, but since I've got my data and my graphs here, I thought might as well. Whenever you do math with Microsoft Excel, you have to tell Microsoft Excel that you're doing math by typing an equal sign first. I type my equal sign and my mass of my water is gonna be mass of kettle filled with water. And you can see it's following me around here. As soon as I click on this, it types the cell location right there. And it has the marching ants, the little blue uh, moving around symbols. And it's gonna be minus mass of queen dry kettle. So I'll type minus next, and then I'll touch right here, click. And now I hit return. And that is the mass of my water in grams. And I just typed the G there. So I know what my units are. I heart units. Now let's keep going. Calculate the temperature range, delta T. So uh, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna, Delta T equals, and this is going to be T final minus T initial. Uh, so I'm going to start tell, them, tell Excel I'm doing math by typing equals. T final is my final temperature right here, minus T initial, which is my initial temperature, temperature at time equals zero, and then it return. And that's going to be in units of degrees Celsius. And I can only do a zero, a lowercase zero, or sorry, a, a lowercase o. Uh, so having trouble doing subscripts and superscripts well. But that's okay. I think we know what we mean. And then calculate the total energy used to heat the water by converting kilowatt hours into joules. There's an example in the introduction. So uh, total or cumulative energy. Uh, well. My lab, the lab write-up now says total, but I'll change it to say cumulative energy. And then cumulative energy equals. And then I'll put it right here. Now cumulative energy is gonna be, again, I'll type my equal sign. It's gonna equal my total energy at the bottom uh, when I'm finished, so 0 0.13. And then according to the introduction, which I have right here somewhere, it says that one kilowatt hour equals 3,600,000 joules, does it say, uh, into joules, right? So these are units of kilowatt hours. I'm gonna multiply, so I'm gonna hit the asterisk, which is shift eight on my computer, 3,600,000 uh, right there. Whoa, that's a lot of joules, uh, but that's the number of joules. And then calculate the energy used per gram of water per degrees Celsius in the kettle. This is going to be also called C sub S W. And that is gonna be, oh, double click on it, with an equal sign there, so I know what it is. And then for math, it's gonna be equals my cumulative energy divided by my mass of water, divided by my temperature change, delta T, and that's delta T. And I get 5.44, and my units here, so we're gonna be joules divided by grams, and I usually just write degrees Celsius there. So, um, and you can put another divides by there if you want, but either way works. Typically in science, we would know that it's joules divided by grams and, and degrees Celsius, but I can see how that's a little confusing. So you can put grams degrees Celsius, you can put joules per gram degrees Celsius, or you can put joules per gram degrees Celsius in parentheses, because the parentheses means that everything that follows stays together. 